Hi, welcome to Human Design. My name is Melinda McDonald and I'm really excited to bring to you guys the three different kinds of ways that you behave in regards to your sensuality and sexuality. Now, I have worked in the area of dating, love, sex and relationship for years and when I came across this component within human design, I was so excited because this took the guesswork away. Straight away, I could tell people exactly how they operated, how they love, how they fear, how they care, how they are sexually. Are we wanting marriage? Are we wanting children? Are we not wanting that at all? Are we auditory, touch, experiential? So there are three different kinds of um, different kinds of people when it comes to this. So I'm gonna cover each one very quickly to give you an idea. So for those of you that have watched Sex in the City, you are gonna love this one, okay? Because this show is brilliant in explaining the different kinds. So the first one that we're gonna cover is the tribal gates, okay? So when your tribal gates are activated and we're talking you're 100% tribal, I want you to think of Charlotte from Sex in the City. So Charlotte is all about safety and security. Okay, she's about the one that is looking to get married and settle down and have children and all the rest of it. Now the way that the tribal people work, and depending on what gates you have activated, but the tribal people are about touch. Now we're not talking touch as in sexually, ooh, you know, I wanna to be touched all over. It's the touch is their communication. So when they have their partner and their partner touches them, the language that is speaking to them is, I'm here for you, I got it, you know? So that's really important for a tribal person. And these are the ones that you tend to find have got the flirting and the marriage contract and things like that, and the children are more in the tribal. They're here, you know, to procreate and do what has actually been happening for centuries. Most of us have been pushed into this tribal way. And the tribal people are the ones that have uh, created our systems that we have today. They've created um, pretty much, you know, our schools, our governments, our societies, they're, they're your tribal people. But things are changing, so it's important to sort of understand how the tribal people work. Now, the second kind we've got are what's called the individuals, and they're your Kerry Bradshaw. And Kerry Bradshaw is the writer that is actually within the show. So the individual people are all auditory. So this covers things like, you know, they love poetry and they love words and they love love songs and chick flicks and romance novels. And the best songs on the radio come from the individuals who've created the, you know, they've got the high highs and the low lows, you know. The individuals are about romance and romance equals passion and passion equals pain. So with an individual, if you're pure individual, the way that it works there is that you can literally have a relationship with somebody in your mind, okay? You can be in love with somebody and you can you can be in love with them and go through these highs and these lows, but the other person doesn't have a clue that you're actually in love with them, okay? So, you know, this is the individual person, all right? They're the hopeless romantics. Then you've got the third kind, which is called the collective. And the collective, think of Samantha Jones. Samantha Jones is all about sexuality. She's about experiential experiences. They're about actually physically doing all of this, okay? They're not interested in someone just touching them, go, oh, you know, I'm here. They're just like, really? You know, they're not interested in the words that are being said. The words mean nothing. For them, they're about, I want to experience everything that there is within a relationship, okay? So it's very, very physical, okay? So they're the three main types. But of course, if you've watched Sex in the City, you go, Mel, what about Miranda? So Miranda, the fourth component is in your chart, you may have two or three kinds of activated gates within your chart. All right, so that means that you have a very specific flow in how you like to do relationships. So it's a very specific language. 
So with each one of these tribal and individual and collective, we've got different gates that can be activated and that explains how you like to be treated, but it also shows me and you what you're looking for, okay? So that's the simple gist of how the sensuality and sexuality gates work. So I'm gonna just throw something out there because I want you to think about this with the three different kinds. And I'm gonna use the big word, masturbation, all right? So the tribal person, because I wanna get this clear on the differences between the different kinds. So the tribal person, when they masturbate, they are masturbating to make sure they don't procreate. They wanna make sure that there's no more babies coming out, okay? The second kind, the individual, they are gonna masturbate to fantasize. And the third kind, they are gonna masturbate just to release some stress, okay? So that is the three kinds. The question is, which one are you? How do you really behave or really, what do you really desire? Not what society is telling you you should be like, but what do you really desire when it comes to relationships? If you've been getting it wrong with your dating and love life and you just wondering what the hell and I'm playing rinse and repeat and it's just not coming out right, trust me, once you know how this works for you, it's going to change absolutely everything. So if you want more information on how to get your relationship gates actually looked at so you understand how you are and how you operate, have a look below. We've got some links and you can get in contact with us. But till next time. It's